Our plan didn't exactly work. What's up? Dude, you ready for this? Let's, Let's get, get it. it. So every fall or spring break, uh, we pick a random direction and just drive with no destination, no idea how long we'll be gone, where we'll be sleeping. Um, the idea is just have the adventure. So this fall break, we picked east. So we're driving east. This is my friend Paxton. We met freshman year of college. Say hi, Paxton. Hi, Paxton. Tell me one weird fact about yourself. One weird fact about myself? Um, I only ever pick my nose when I'm alone in the bathroom. All right, so we could go to the dinosaur park, but we have this massive storm and uh, we're driving through the mountains and we're definitely gonna get trapped if we get hit by that. So the question is, do we go out of the way to see some dinosaurs or do we just send it and run away from the storm? What do you think? Um, that's a very good question. I want to say risk it for the biscuit, but I also don't want to get trapped in the mountains. Yeah, that would not be fun. Also, what is this? Subway serving sandwiches like this? Crazy. It's crazy. Utterly, crazy. utterly ridiculous. Well, this is the storm we're trying to outrun. I don't think we're gonna make it. Paxton, this is a curb. Yeah, this is, it's a curb. Okay. What's up MTV? This is my crib. We out in the expensive Airbnb farmhouse too, here in Steamboat Springs. Here we got the trash can. Got the nice little TV and mini fridge. Don't mind the luggage. Walking past the coffee table and the pull out futon. Come on through, we got the nice bathroom. And our own private room with the slope ceiling. Great. Bren is trying to find something for us to do. Let's go see if he's found it yet. All right, what do you got for us? All right, so there's a hot spring and it looks cool. The only catch is we have to drive like 40 minutes up into a mountain on a dirt road and it's probably in a storm because we beat the storm here. But right. Uh, it, it, it will storm on us. Do we go for it? I say we go for it. Hot springs in a storm. Sounds great. Alright, so we just got back, or driving back from the hot springs. It was interesting. Quite the experience. It was totally pitch black. Like, absolutely zero lights. You couldn't see anything. And it was pretty much just a, a stream. Like there was not really anything built. Like there was moss everywhere. It was super slippery. Um, very hot. Very weird experience, but very cool. We had to like drive up into the mountains like half an hour to find it. Uh, There's this tiny little shack that we paid at, and after the shack, there were no lights at all. So overall, good experience. Would recommend. Definitely. how well this can be seen, but it is definitely snowing outside, which means the storm has caught up to us while we were sleeping. We're in the middle of the mountains, and it's snowing all around us, blocking all of our escapes, and we only have this room until noon. So we have to leave, but the question is where do we go? So I think we have a small window. If we go back west a little bit over to Craig, and hopefully this storm has passed Craig at that time, and then we can take this little tiny road down here to Highway 70, and I think we're gonna have a small window before this storm hits, which will inevitably turn to snow with the higher elevation. 
So we're gonna have a small window to get by these storms. And that's that's really our only option, so. So as you can hear, we uh our plan didn't exactly work. We just drove into the center of the storm we were trying to miss. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna do from here. So the situation is, the original theory was we were gonna go down here, but um, that's the road we were going to take. And if it's like snowing here and we're just barely in the start of it, I don't know if that's gonna work. It's gonna get bad. We don't really have much of a choice other than to just go straight into the storm and hope it is okay. So, uh, here we go. This looks promising. Clear skies ahead. I think we made it out. We made it to our destination safely, mission accomplished. What up MTV, welcome to our crib night two. Follow me, we'll go right here. That door is locked, we're not allowed to go in there. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to go in this room either, but it's open. This room though, take a look at this. One full bed, which means one of us is on the floor. But check out this quality. Look at this. This is nice quality. If you come this way, you'll see the bathroom. It's very nice, very nice shower. All of the all the essentials. And then we have a second door into the room that again I don't think we're supposed to be in. And uh, here we are. Night two. Day three, and would you guess it's raining? Another storm. So now that we are at basically the end of our trip, uh, I thought maybe we should take the opportunity to explain what this trip was actually about. From the camera's perspective, it probably didn't look like we did that much. And I don't, we didn't really do that much. No. Most of it was driving. Yeah. And the reason being for that is we didn't have a destination like we mentioned earlier. No and the plans whole, just yeah. go. The whole point of it was, you've heard all, probably countless times to enjoy the journey. And if you have no destination, you're forced to enjoy the actual journey part of it. And that's kind of Nothing the reason else to look for. Yeah, exactly. We just kind of went out and went for it, and uh, with no destination, you're forced to just enjoy the journey. So we thought we'd finish it up with a little uh, Tai Chi meditation to really just be in the moment and uh, reflect a little bit on the adventure we've had. <laughs> 